Hello everybody and welcome back. Recently, Bev from Our Half Acre Homestead reviewed the Dollar Tree Canon lids. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave iCards above and links in the information below to both of the videos that she put out where she mentioned these. Now, I went to two Dollar Trees yesterday and I started with the larger Dollar Tree. I could not find these. They were not in the crafting section and they were not in the kitchen section. So I went to a Dollar Tree closer to home and it is a very small one. Well, when you know, the small Dollar Tree had the lids and they were in the kitchen section. So let's take a closer look at these lids. So here is the package of Dollar Tree Regular Mouth Snap Lids, close up. It's packaged under the label called Cooking Concepts. A lot of items in Dollar Tree Canada are packaged under this label. What I am gonna do is compare it to the snap lids that are packaged for Dollarama by Bernardin. Okay, so these were $1.25 for 10 lids and these were $2 for 12 lids. Let's turn this over. Okay, this has got information on the back. But what I want to look at is the fact that it is product of the USA. This is made in China. Another difference that we can see is that Bernardin is BPA free. No such claim on this packaging. So why don't we open these up and compare the lids, the actual lids. This package is already open. I likely purchased this at Dollarama when they had a few packages left. <laughs> People are opening them in the store. It's really important to wash these in soap and water. So there's the Bernard in the lid. Okay. Here's a Dollar Tree lid. Let's turn them over. So, looking at the plastisol, the Bernardin lid, the plastisol goes right up to the edge here. That's not the same with the Dollar Tree lid. You can see more of the edge of the lid there. On these two particular lids, the plastisol is a little wider on the Dollar Tree lid, but I think that is because of the bevel. Do you notice the difference in the bevel? There is a difference, isn't there? Plastisol on the Bernardin lid seems a little thicker. Another difference I notice is the weight. This, I feel, is just a little bit heavier than 
the Dollar Tree lid. I do plan to give these Dollar Tree lids a try. The next time I do a canning project where I will be using regular mouth lids, In Bev's video, she talks about how to use these prior to canning. So washing in hot soapy water, immersing them in very hot water right before you use them. And I realize some people do simmer their lids. So whatever floats your boat, just make sure you prepare the lid properly before you can with it. Let me know what you think. Would you use the Dollar Tree lids? What do you think about the differences? I want to leave some photos at the end of the video so you can look at them closely again. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.